Okay, so now we're going to get a full body model of the spinal column itself and the respective plexi. Okay, so starting up here at the top, so the first thing we can see, the frontal lobe of the brain, uh, and you can see some of your cranial nerves, we'll cover cranial nerves later, uh, but this is the olfactory nerve and the olfactory bulb. Okay, we can also see our optic nerves, these are two large nerves you can see immediately sticking out uh, by the frontal lobe of the brain. My pons, it's the swollen region here, uh, and the medulla oblongata is directly below that. Okay, and that leads into the individual spinal cord itself, which is this white structure running down the center. Now, branching off of the spinal cord are, of course, nerves. Uh, and we can group these nerves into plexi. These plexi are just groups of nerves that are all working together, interacting with each other. Uh, so the first part, from about right here up, uh, is my cervical plexi. So if you remember from your bones, these are our cervical uh, vertebrae. Well, the first part is the cervical plexi. Uh, the second part of the cervical vertebrae branch to make these long uh, structures here that go on off into the arms. That's our brachial plexi. When we move down, you can see the intercostal nerves. So the nerves coming off of those thoracic uh, vertebrae, they're not actually plexi. They're just individual intercostal nerves. Moving on down. Okay, so now we're in the lumbar vertebrae. So we have our lumbar plexi. And finally, moving all the way down, you're in the sacrum. So the sacrum sits down here in our sacral plexi. Uh, and we'll accumulate into this single nerve here, uh, the largest nerve in the body, the sciatic nerve. Okay, so looking back, so again, our whole spinal cord here. Well, if we follow the spinal cord, okay, it starts to widen right in this region right here. Uh, and it's called the conus medullaris. Uh, so it, you can find it easily, so it forms this terminal here. Uh, and so it kind of makes it look like a little bit of a cone. So a widened base and it comes to a point. That's what a cone looks like, right? So that's your conus medullaris. Then it's going to branch out to these striated uh, regions here called the cauda equina, which literally means horse's tail. Cauda being tail, equina being horse. Uh, the last part of this that we can see uh, is this sympathetic trunk which is this yellow line with the pink dots, uh, which are made up of the chain ganglion. 